What is up my friends? I am super super excited because just a few hours ago I get a YouTube notification on my phone saying that Top Gun 2 Maverick has just dropped the trailer. So as soon as I get home from work I go into my garage in solitude and I, I play the trailer and I was just freaking blown away. I'm just doing fist pumps in my garage, hair crawling on my freaking arms. So excited to watch this movie. It's not coming out till like next year but super excited to see a Top Gun 2. It's been so long in the making. I know for, for a while they were getting Tom Cruise to you know want to make uh, another movie and he kept you know turning it down but whatever the timing's right now I guess we're gonna freaking watch this movie next year he's so freaking pumped in the meantime I was thinking with all this freaking excitement Top Gun I'm gonna play Top Gun the NES game so just a, a couple days ago I was watching an angry video game nerd episode on where he roasted Top Gun the game so it was hilarious. He was saying in the video how it's impossible to land that thing. And uh, so that's what I'm here for. Turbo is going to land this friggin' F-14 right on your TV or phone. Let's play! Fire her up. We're about to take off. Blow shit up. This game was just awesome. I mean, it came out in 1987. I was 10 years old. It was like my third, I think my third Nintendo game that my mother bought me. And uh, this was, you know, my first flight simulator, obviously. I never played anything like this. And I was instantly hooked. The game was very difficult. It took me, you know, a long time to beat it, especially you know, being 10 years old. But you know, eventually, with practice, you know, you can last almost anything. And uh, the last few days, I've been playing this game. Like I said earlier, I, I saw that angry video game nerd uh, episode, and uh, maybe want to play the game. And, uh, see if I can still land it. You know, it's been years since I played this game up until a couple days ago, and. Uh, I wanted to make a video I'm landing this sucker. The F-14. And the F-14 Tomcat was very popular in the 80s, just like you know, ninjas were, He-Man, Thundercats. The Tomcat was the stud of the Navy. Navy jet. It's been uh, retired. It hasn't been in service for a, for a good 20 years or so, I think. Not that the plane sucked. It just became really expensive from a maintenance standpoint to keep to uh, maintain. But, uh, legendary. All right. We're gonna be coming up on the landing sequence. Now, it's pretty simple. I mean, it, don't get me wrong. This is difficult, and but once you learn, you know how to get it done. Simple. So what you want to do is pretty much ignore what the computer is telling you to do. Except for you want to pay attention to the altitude and speed. All right? You want to generally be within the vicinity of 200 altitude and the 288 speed. Do pay attention when it says, you know, go left or go right. But what you do is you keep your nose up the entire time. And that will kind of even your altitude and speed descent. And once you start dipping, we, you just keep the nose up the whole way until you get really close. You now, pay attention to your, you know, your meters on the left, the altitude and speed. 
once you get that altitude to around 200, you should be all right. And the speed too, around 288. You press the A button to give yourself a little more speed. And look what I'm doing. Look at the look at my uh, my gauges. You know, I'm, I'm kind of like letting it float at that speed once I got it down. But the trick is just to keep the nose up the whole time. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. You know, I, I really appreciate that. <laughs> All right, fellas, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please throw me a like, throw me a comment, subscribe, be part of the channel, be part of the community. And uh, thank you for watching, everyone. Peace out. Can't wait to see Maverick. Later, everyone.